What's up YouTube? Y'all the iPhone geek back again as you can see. I'm in the studio right now. Um, that's is, this is where I'm gonna actually gonna give you this tutorial. This tutorial is for people been waiting for the 3.1.2 jailbreak, which the dev team have finally just created and pushed it out. Okay, so this is the quickest, simplest, easiest way ever to jailbreak your phone and unlock it too. All right, so I'm gonna show you all once in process but i'm gonna let you know the mac version and the pc version at the same time because it's all the all the difference is is pressing a button that's it all right so for people who for one who have the done the black rain jailbreak and kind of having a lot of errors this process will fix that okay so you can overwrite that with what i'm telling you people who's already jailbroken this is pretty good as well you can see my wireless keyboard elbows fell here all right, so that will help as well. People with 2G, do this. Basically, this is for all type of devices on the iPhone platform, iPod and iPhone platform, all right? So people with the 3GS pre-install 3.1.2, you're gonna need to get someone with a pawnage tool. That's as far as I know. I don't got a pre-install 3.1.2, so I don't know how that works. So. This process is for people who already jailbroken their phone, all right? You can use the Pawnage tool and you'll probably be able to do it. Okay. In the Pawnage tool, it's a pretty long step, you know, to do, to follow the steps. You just have to follow it directly as it says. Read the pop-ups carefully and you'll be fine, all right? So without further ado, I know y'all waiting patiently and waiting, waiting. So I'm just going to show y'all now. The simplest ways of how to jailbreak it first I'm gonna start on a Mac but it doesn't matter if you're on a Mac or a PC all right so I'm gonna start up my Mac real quick and then I'm gonna go on the desktop I'm gonna load up the website you are gonna need to get all the tools all right so let's go and over to this PC real quick the Mac real quick so let's get to the Mac here we go Mac up so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to Safari remember we're gonna use Safari I mean, I'm sorry, don't use Safari, <laughs> my bad on that. You want to use Firefox, all right? Don't use Safari. The reason why I catch that back is because Safari is like a Mac program, um, Apple program, I should say. They don't allow you to download custom firmware, so you don't want to use Safari. You want to use Firefox, easiest and best way. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up to the address bar, okay? We're going to go up to the address bar here. And let's type. All right, let me get this up. Boom. Close this out. You're gonna go. I'm gonna provide the website in the in the link, so you don't have to really see what I'm typing here. It's fine. You're gonna go iPhoneFix.de. D as in David, E as in Edward. When you go to the site, it's gonna load up. All right. We're gonna wait for it to load. Now the site is up. Okay. This is the iPhone Fix website. So you wanna go to the right where it says upload news. If you look over here, you will see upload news, all right? Over right there. You can click on any one of the links over here, it doesn't matter, so click on the link. And then when you click on this link, it's gonna load up a page. What you wanna do is go into the middle of the page. Click on where it says connect iPhone FTP, right? You click on that, it's gonna go straight to the server, all right? When you get to this server, you're gonna look for the firmware for your phone all right you want to select the right firmware okay so I'm waiting for the site to load up a lot of people probably run into this site right now because I know a lot of people know about it so they're probably trying to go onto this server also now we're in the server you want to click on where it says firmware system custom all right you want to click on that firmware system custom right once that loaded up wait for it to load like I said a lot of people's here these are all the custom firmware. You want to look for the one that's specific with your device, okay? The important thing you have to be careful on here. You're going to make sure you download the right one. Non-activated mean AT&T customers. Standard custom restore that IPSW files are for T-Mobile subscribers, people in different countries or whatever. So people like myself with AT&T, I would download the non-activated, the 3.1.2 firmware. Now we got that, all right? When you got your firmware, 
on your desktop, I would say that's the best place to put it, all right? When you get your firmware on your desktop, what you're going to do is you're going to run iTunes. Yes, when you run iTunes now, which I'm showing you down here, you run iTunes, it's going to show you the file. So when we open iTunes, iTunes open up. I'm doing this on a Mac, but don't worry about it. You can do the same thing on a PC. The only thing, like I said, different is just the button you're going to click. That's it. All right? So iTunes open up. If we had an iPhone connected, you would see it comes up and start to show you the files here. So you know what? Let me, let me connect this iPhone real quick and show you all what we're talking about. All right? So let, hold on. Let me hold this real quick. Get to the plug right here. Ah. All right. So now we plug it into iTunes. I'm trying to make this video as quickly as possible as I can because, as we know, YouTube only takes 10 minutes. All right? So now you will scroll over. Once, you're, once a program comes, you're going to click on your device. I'm already jailbroken on 3.1.2, as you can see there. All right? So I don't need to do the restore the jailbreak here. So what you will do now, now for the part where I'm talking about, and Mac people... You want to click option. You see that button right there? You click on hold on option. Okay. And then you will click restore. When you click on restore, it will go to browse. And you just search for wherever you save your custom firmware. And that's it. You just click on it. It will start to back up your file. And everything is good. Now, for PC people, which here, let me get my PC. You want to click shift, which is that key. You will click shift. And you will do the same thing. Click on restore. And it will go through the running of the update and everything. Once it's complete, iTunes will detect your phone again. So you can either do backup from a restore or you can simply do um, a regular start over for your phone. So that's the quickest and simplest ways. I'm going to give you all the information going to be in this video. Everything is going to be here for you to do. All right. You don't need to do all these crazy stuff. And I'm telling you, people, this is the quickest and easy way, easiest way to do it. I promise you. If I'm wrong, I stop making videos on YouTube. <laughs> That's simple. But I'm telling you, the dev team have done it once again. And I'm telling you, that's the best, and that's the people you should follow. Don't be going to all these other people. Other people are trying to get you to pay to do this. The dev team love what they're doing, and they like their fans, so they do it for free. All right, so. I'm happy I was able to come back to y'all again. I'm going to put up this video right now, like right now, so y'all can check it out and get your phone done. If you have any questions, if y'all need any instructions, if y'all need me to create a video for y'all to see, I'll be more than happy to create one, all right? So once again, y'all the iPhone geek coming to you from Mad Ghost Production Studio. And me say, later, Zane.